One of the most compelling and interesting things about co-ops for me personally is the governance piece. I think it is highly distinct from the corporate model and I think it is one of the things that gives co-ops um, their strength. So let me just draw you a little picture. So here we go. So basically I see co-ops as being a closed loop. So we have folks, we have members and they decide that they have a need and they want to get together communally to fulfill that need or to solve their problem. So they create some kind of service, whatever that service being. And then from there, they actually decide that they have to invest dollars in that service in order to make it work because after all, there's no angel investor, there's no sugar daddy, there's no one out there and they don't want to go into debt if they can avoid that. So from the members, they build a service, they invest in that. So who's going to lead that? Well, the members actually lead. So it's the members who develop, lead and govern and invest the service. So as you can see, so here I'll just put the word govern. They govern this whole thing called the co-op. So you can see it's a, it's a bit of a closed loop. So in these tough economic times, let's say, think back to the fall of 2009, when things were really going um, downward in the financial markets and so forth, co-ops, in fact, survived that very, very well. They were highly resilient in difficult economic times. And it is because in this model, as you can see, the money stays in the community, the money stays in the loop. When you have a corporate structure, what you would have typically is those who govern, they not, do not necessarily use the service. They are sometimes very distant geographically and they are distant also from the reality of what's going on here. So they don't use the service. The investors and those who um, are on the boards of directors and so forth, as I say, they don't use the service. And the people who are, for example, shareholders don't necessarily use the service either. So when things get tough, they leave. When things get tough, these guys leave in the typical corporate structure. So co-ops have a closed loop and I think that's very compelling and very interesting as we move into um, a time when we really want people to be more resilient. You know, the, the big oil uh, crisis that is coming or is here, uh, this, is a, this is a great model to deal with that.